have our responsibility to those who consume our lavish products and therefore are committed to a responsible marketing and advertising on our products. The truth needs to be told. Not when you're about to close a billion dollar deal. The enemy I know to me, uh, I'm proud to put my signature on it and uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one, trust me. It's something that uh, everybody needs to look out for and I'm proud to be part of it. I'm proud to manage this production. This is one film that I am proud to say I, ne I wish never ended. I, I didn't even feel like I was shooting a film. I mean, the hospitality, the, we the welfare, everything was just on point. It was 100. It was family. I, I actually felt bad when they said rap. You know what I'm saying? It was, the Daniels did good on this one. Absolutely. It's actually a very unique movie. The title is even unique, The Enemy I Know. So if you think about that, it would be like um, somebody you know that is actually your enemy. So we needed a big list so that you cannot even guess, okay, this is the enemy, that is the enemy, you know? You, it's actually like um, a family movie. It's a lot of work, but I, of course, Uncle Ned asked if I could come on board. And I mean, I'm like, okay, Uncle Ned. And then I was on holidays then. So I said, you know, you know, just come and have a feel. So it's fun for me. It's fun. Our relationship is very important. But in business, relationship takes the back seat. To your office, please. The story is so twisted that um, from the giving them um, opportunity to girl ch to the girl, a girl child, uh, from being careful of the f people around you, and a lot of things are there to watch. A lot of things are there for you to understand. I think it's a mixture of the young and the old. So for me, it's people waiting to see and being expectant. You have a, a mixed array of actors that cut across different genre, and um, I'm hoping that people will enjoy it. The fact that it's very relatable, like it's one that resonates with our audience. One thing that I always pray for is to get those scripts where, that connects directly to the audience. Something that they can look at and say, oh, this actually happens within our society. You know, and it gets intriguing and something that can keep them captivated. This is one film I think will sell itself. I'm rooting this for this one, big time. 25 years I have been preparing myself for today. And I will not let you take this moment away from me. I'm happy we, we, we made magic, so it's magical. So I'm, I'm experience, whatever experience I had there is good at the end of the day. When I look back and realize that I made magic, it was it. I saw a short um, Instagram video where Regina slapped the, the mom. Oh, man, that was crazy. Like, as in everybody, I just want to see what led to that point where she had to slap the mom, that kind of thing. So I think it's going to be interesting, like the twist and everything, you know. Because my mom knows they don't slap her so she used the opportunity to revenge. And the way she just slapped it in there, we know that she got out of her mind. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Lovely cast. Um, my friends are there. Um, um, Ken Eriks, Desmond Elliott, Jide Kosoko. So many wonderful actors and actresses. Uh, I, I know it's going to be a good one. I am passing the baton on to you. Amazing movie. Now you guys know me, I'm a Nollywood person. You guys know entertainment is my thing. So watch out for the space as well because any content coming up soon, you're gonna see me in there. You guys should come through for this. Come through for this big time. Come watch this. Uh, we're hoping to get honest reviews, you know, as honest as possible, but we know that we did a good job. But the audience will have to be the critics, you know. You have to tell us where you are, you enjoyed or you didn't enjoy it, or maybe there are parts that could have improved on because for every filmmaker they think the the thing about it is that there should be always room for improvement. You are a complete disappointment. I gotta die, I gotta die, I gotta die. Last will and testament of Chief Anthony Adewale.